We arrived in Yosemite at night and we camped at Upper Pines Campground. In the morning, we woke up early to catch sunrise at Tunnel View. I got a few nice shots of El Cap. It was cool to drive through Yosemite for the first time in the daytime and just see the mountains towering over everything. Here we went to check out Valley View, which is a lower perspective, and we got some really nice shots before we headed back to Upper Pines Campground and packed up for our backcountry portion of the trip. We're just packing our bags. in my bag there. We are about to start the hike up to Glacier Point, two nights. It's cool, like we parked right below where we were hiking. So we essentially are just hiking all the way up to the top of this, which is Glacier Point. But it would take us how many kilometers? 12 kilometers to get there? Rather than scaling straight up the mountain. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a super long hike, but it took us two nights, almost three days to do. The side of the trail is mostly just walking through the forest, but you can see the mountains around which are cool. This first part of the trail was a bit different because it was paved and it was pretty popular. And then it totally changed once we got past the waterfalls. Yeah, there was probably a hundred people going to this first part of the mist trail. And, but once we got farther than Vernal Falls. It was not busy at all. The start of the trail was pretty uphill, so it definitely was a good workout with our bags on our backs. And then we enjoyed taking pictures around the waterfalls, so by the time we got to our campsite, it was dark. We hiked through the dark, climbing up like rocks with their headlamps, so it was a bit challenging. We woke up to a really beautiful morning. It was a little bit chilly, so we both enjoyed a warm drink. We have to camp a few hundred feet from the water, so we had to walk to refill our water in the morning. It was pretty chilly, especially when we went to the water because it was an open area and we weren't protected anymore by the trees. It rained overnight, but at higher elevations, there was just a little bit of snow on the ground, so it was around zero or freezing at night. We decided to leave our tent at that spot because we were going to come back to it and sleep there, so it was a nice change to not hike all the way up with all of our bags and stuff. So we hiked from Nevada Falls to Glacier Point, and then back to Nevada Falls on the second day. It was cool walking along the trail. You have a really good view off the cliff the whole time. Here we noticed that the log was steaming because of the water trapped inside and the sun heating it up. So that was really interesting to see that. This crossing is over Il Iloet Falls. As we hiked longer and longer into the day, it got a lot warmer. So we started taking off our layers and it was really nice to be in the sunshine. This is January, like, 5th, so it's like the middle of winter. There were lots of leaves and pine cones we noticed throughout the trail, so it felt almost more like fall at times. Yosemite has a really cool and unique rocky landscape. 
It's different than where we normally hike as it's almost all glacier carved granite, whereas the Rockies and the Niagara Escarpment are mostly sandstone and limestone. This is from Glacier Point, and it's cool seeing the valley down below, just so high up, and it's like a straight down drop to it. Got some nice pictures of Half Dome. It was really cool to see Half Dome and get different views of the dome as we continued to walk up and around. And this trail is pretty popular in the summer. It's called Panorama Ridge. And you can park at Glacier Point and then you can just hike down it and then back up. But in the winter, Glacier Point's closed. So we saw I think a total of four people on this trail over the whole day. So it was cool to be almost by ourselves in Yosemite, which is an extremely busy park. It's definitely a very different experience coming in the winter than it is coming in the summer or during busier seasons. If you have a chance to go in the winter, we definitely recommend it. And then going back to our campsite, it was dark, but the full moon was out. So did some ex long exposures of the uh, half dome with the moonlight on it. You could see some stars there too. Okay, so yesterday I had um, a different backpacker's pantry meal and it was really good. So I had high hopes for this one. It was the same idea like oats, um, but I didn't love this one. It just doesn't have much flavor. You no really... sugar. Pardon? No sugar. Well, it says there's sugar, but you can't taste it at all. And it just doesn't have much flavor. You can taste the quinoa, you can taste the hemp seeds, and they're not like sweet tastes. The blueberries are kind of sour-ish, and overall, just didn't love it. We are starting our hike down from Nevada Falls, heading back to Yosemite Valley. And you can definitely hear the water rushing behind us, but we're starting, it's about 8.30, so we'll see how long it takes. There's this weird tree growing on a rock. It was really smooth and brown. Here's Nevada Falls. We didn't see it on our way in because it was dark at this point. This is half dome from the side. It doesn't really look like half dome normally does because it looks like it's a full dome. And we went back down onto the trail we started on, which had lots of rock steps. And this was actually the part we did when it was dark, so. I actually didn't even remember part of it. This is probably the least amount of water that these waterfalls have. It hasn't snowed or rained that much this winter, so there is a lot less water than normal. You get soaked on this trail in the spring, hence the name Mist Trail, but we didn't get wet at all here. One of the cool things about Yosemite is they have a shuttle bus that goes around the whole valley and it's free. So you can do like a through hike through Yosemite and then take a bus back to the car if you don't want to do like an out and back or a loop trail. And there's a lot of cool trails that go like all the way across like a rim of the valley. On the way out, we stopped at Valley View again and got a few last pictures. Overall, we really enjoyed this hike. 
We loved how peaceful it was and we didn't see many people on the trail. We didn't see much wildlife, but we really enjoyed the views of Half Dome and our experience.